after it's finished erasing the application, it'll say loading system software. Again, this is all just a very, very long process, so just have a little bit of patience. Keep an eye on it in case there are any problems. Once it finishes going through the device initialization and reading the uh, application configuration, it'll start loading the actual operating system, all the modules and stuff that make it up. This is also another process that just takes a really long time, so have some patience, keep an eye on it like I said. After all the modules are finished loading, it'll tell you the operation was successful, and this is where the real fun comes. You'll watch your little phone light up, white screen and everything, and then you get to sit there and watch an hourglass for the next 10 to 15 minutes. Maybe a little bit longer, depending on um, your device. I mean, you know how these things sometimes have a personality of their own. So just sit there, be patient. Um, if you see that hourglass, don't think anything's wrong. Um, you know, it, it's just part of the process. It'll take a long time just seeing that hourglass what you should keep an eye out for is just for that hourglass to start blinking and you know doing a little bit more than just spinning around. Skipping ahead you can see that our icon, our uh, hourglass is now flashing and the uh, splash screen is up. Our new operating system is installed. You'll see the little carrier logo come up for a little bit and then everything will initialize you know just like a normal reboot. So if you're installing a hybrid like a lot of the people are on BlackberryOS.com, one of the things that's really recommended to do after you install the operating system and before you restore your um, third-party applications is to do a security wipe. Make sure that there's just absolutely no traces of the uh, previous operating system and third-party applications whatsoever. So what you want to do is go down to Options wherever that icon is on your screen just click on options and then go to security next general settings now once you're there press your blackberry button and choose wipe handheld at the next prompt make sure that you select include third-party applications click continue and it'll ask you to type the word blackberry just type it and hit enter After you hit enter, it'll give you a little warning saying, don't pull the battery. Whatever you do, don't pull the battery. Then you'll see the little screen, little loading icon. It's very quick, doesn't take too long. And then after it's done wiping, of course, it'll just do another reboot. Just like all the other features of BBSAK, it's very easy to restore your applications. Go ahead and click restore apps. You'll see a little box that says restore folder must be named backup to do this before clicking. If you don't have it named backup, it's going to throw an error and say that there's nothing to restore. Go ahead and click OK. And you'll get another screen that says that your screen's going to flash a little bit, just like it did when you were backing up your third party apps. Go ahead and click OK. And you'll have to wait a little bit of time for it to throw all your uh, applications back on your phone. It'll say backup restored. Just make sure your cursor is not flashing or anything like that and it's actually back on your phone. Go ahead and click OK. Go ahead and click OK. Now let's just take a quick look and make sure all our applications are installed. Hit the BlackBerry button, take a look at the list. Yep, as you can see, all our third party applications are back installed. And that's it. Now, if you want to, you can go through back to Desktop Manager and restore all your personal information, your address book, your BlackBerry Messenger buddies, your calendar, your profile settings. Just Make it however you want. That's pretty much all there is to BBSAK. Really nice program, just about a desktop manager killer. Now for something a little fun. Let's take a screenshot with BBSAK of our BlackBerry. To do this, simply click on screenshot. It'll simply create a screenshot file for you in my pictures and a folder called BB Screenies. To get there, all you have to do is open up Windows Explorer like we did before when we were getting rid of the vendor file. Easiest way is to press Windows and the E key at the same time. Now it's just a matter of navigating to where we have my pictures and that BB Screenies folder. There it is inside. Look inside and yep, there's our screenshot. And that'll do it for this video. I'm Suncast from BlackberryOS.com. 
Hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you have any comments, feel free to visit BlackberryOS.com. We have forums, you know, questions you got, whatever. Just hit us up.